Hallelujah. Greetings, precious people of God. Wherever you are connecting with me across the world, I want to welcome you to this wonderful broadcast. And I'm going later to pray with you. And the Lord Jesus is going to bless you and he is going to do you good. I want to speak today about the power in the word of God. The word of God is power. And when you receive this power, your life will never be the same again. I want us to read Hebrews chapter number 4 verse number 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and of joints and marrow and is the sana of the thoughts and intentions of the heart. I'll repeat again. Hebrews chapter number 4 verse number 12. The word of God is quick, powerful, sharper than two-edged sword, piercing even and dividing asunder the soul spirit and the joints and the marrow, and the sana of the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. This is the word of God. And for your information, remember that Jesus Christ is the word of God. Jesus is the word of God. And when I speak about the word of God, we have the written word of God which is in the Bible, like this uh, biblical passage that I'm reading. And we have the spoken word of God that is called Rema. The written word of God is called Rogos. And the spoken word of God is called lemas. Right now you are, cons you, are, you, are, you are receiving both the written and the spoken. As you are continuing to receive the gospel of Jesus. As you are continuing to re receive the messages of God. From apostles, prophets, teachers, evangelists of the word of God. Something is happening in your spirit. The word of God is sinking in your spirit. Number one, the word of God is quick. People of God, God's interventions are timely and accurate to solve our urgent needs when we are truly connected to Him. The word of God is quick. It is alive. Viewers, wherever you are watching this broadcast, I want to let you know that the word of God is alive and it is quick. Distance is not a barrier to the word of God. As I am speaking to you right now, the word of God is reaching in your spirit. It is doing something in your spirit. It is timely. It is accurate. It doesn't matter where, whatever you are going through this day. The Lord has sent me to you to decree and to declare that your time to receive divine solutions, divine interventions is now. It is your season to receive your divine interventions, your divine deliverances, your divine healings in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is affecting you, Whatever is causing you to lose sleep, whatever is taking away your joy, let the word of God intervene in you quickly right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the power in the word of God to touch you in your situation in the name of Jesus. Number two, the word of God is powerful. Power is the ability to do something. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter number nine, verse number one and two, he called the twelve and he gave them power and authority to heal the sick, to cast out devils, and to proclaim the kingdom of God. If you read Mark chapter number 16, verse number 16, them that believe, hey, receiving the power in the word of God, you need to be a believer. Believe. Our faith. Remember, Jesus said that. If you have faith as little as a mustard seed, you can speak to this mountain and say to it, 
Draw yourself to the sea. Remove yourself in this position. And draw yourself into the sea. Right now I am speaking by the virtue. Standing in the word of God. By the mistress in the word of God. I speak to every mountain in your situation. Let that mountain be removed. And let it be cast into the sea. In the name of Jesus. What is your mountain today viewer? As you are listening to this broadcast. You can type your mountain there. On the comment section. And I will be praying with you. I will be removing that mountain. By the virtue and the mistress. In the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive that power in the word of God. Power. To change your destiny. Power to catapult you to your divine destiny. Today you are shifting to your divine destiny. I'm releasing the power to catapult you to your divine destiny in the area of marriage, in the area of business, in the area of employment. Your promotion is around the corner. Your future is about to have a turn allowed for the glory of God. I'm speaking about the power that is in the word of God. Number three. The word of God is sharper. Sharper enough to separate you from whatever Satan used to connect himself to your destiny. Viewer, sometimes Satan uses situations, challenges, spirit of rejection, spirit of sickness, bad dreams disappointments stress sicknesses to connect himself to us sometimes satan even uses bad or unfriendly friends sometimes satan uses witches sorcerers to connect himself to us but i have good news for you the word of god is sharper enough than any double-edged sword here on earth in this life and even in the life to come to separate you from whatever satan used to connect himself to you by the much virtue of the word of god flowing in this atmosphere receive the power in the word of god be separated from whatever Satan used to connect himself to you. There are people you are watching. You are listening right now. You are in pain. You are in crisis. Things are not right with you. But I have good news for you. Rejoice because the power of God has come. The anointing of God has come. The power of God is going to flow in your situation in the name of Jesus. Raso patala ni anoko yanda sa, rese pakoto yanda babuzo kule na mahandosh. That chain that Satan used to connect himself to you, let that chain be broken in the name of Jesus. That handcuff, that demonic agent, let them be separated from you in the name of Jesus Christ. That power of evil dream nightmare be separated from you now in the name of jesus christ you're watching this broadcast and you are having nightmares and bad dreams right now every weakness in the dream be removed in the name of jesus any sin that is making you to be powerless in the dream, be forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you ate in the camp of the enemy in the dream, in the physical, and is affecting your life today. You are dreaming with the dead. You are dreaming with bad things. You are dreaming people chasing after your life. You are dreaming that you are sick. You're dreaming that you have lost your job. You have lost your family. The Lord has sent me to you as a prophet and apostle for this hour. Be delivered. Be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Number four. 
the word of God trains us to discernment. Discernment is the ability to, to know this is an evil spirit and this is a good spirit. Let your spirit right now receive that gift of discernment. You'll never be a victim of circumstance. I decree and I declare you never you will never be a victim of circumstance because the discernment of the Holy Spirit the discernment in the Word of God has entered in your spirit right now as you're watching and listening to me in the name of Jesus Christ people of God as you continue reading the Word of God in the Bible and listening to men and women of God preaching your life will never be the same again. Right now, I want to pray for you. Maybe you are listening to this broadcast and you are not born again. You have never received Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of your heart. Or you are born again, but right now, you went back to your former ways of life. I want to pray for you. Repent and change because the Lord wants to bless you. The Lord wants to change your story. Repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sins. I am a sinner. Write my name in the book of life. And when you shall come today to bless others, remember me also. And when you shall come, the second coming, consider me in your kingdom in the name of Jesus. I have prayed for you. Look for a Bible-believing church. Start attending a physical fellowship. Look for anointed men or, or women of God. They will guide you as a shepherd. God uses pastors, prophets, teachers, evangelists as shepherds. They will shepherd your soul. They will guide you about the things of the kingdom of God. Lead the Bible. Pray. Make the Lord's prayer. Make all other kinds of prayer, adoration, confessions, thanksgiving, supplications, warfare prayers. As you continue sitting under anointed servant of God, you'll be learning about these things in the name of Jesus. And if you have no no, no shepherd of God that is near you. You can reach out to me i'll be able to guide you and to help you so that you can be a good christian in the name of jesus christ may your faith grow as you continue reading and listening to the word of god maybe you are sick in your body i want to pray for you right now the healing power of god is going to come upon you i want you to touch the screen and the power of god is going to flow in your body Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my heart towards the screen. There are people that are watching and they are sick. Lord, let your anointing begin to touch them. Let your power begin to touch them. Let your power begin to touch them. Let the hearing power of God begin to flow in your body from the head to the toe. Sicknesses of the head be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Sickness of the eyes, the throat, the ears, the brain, the chest, the respiratory system, be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Sickness in the back, spinal cord, bones, joints, be flushed out of your system in the name of Jesus. Sickness in your breast, in your uterus, in your kidneys. Be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Sickness in your liver, be flushed out in the name of Jesus. In your spleen, be healed in the name of Jesus. Sickness in your legs, in your hands, in your blood, in your skin, be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Bacteria, viruses, funguses, and all sicknesses in the body, be flushed out in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood pressure be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Diabetes, blood sugar, high blood sugar be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God touch you. Let the anointing of God touch you. Be healed 
and be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. I have prayed for you. Listen to your body right now. You are free in the name of Jesus. I have prayed for you. Whatever Satan used to connect himself to you, it has been disconnected in the name of Jesus. Rejoice. The power of God has come. You can lie to me through the number on the screen. I'll be continuing to pray with you day and night. And God is going to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Bye-bye. God do you good.